Hey, how you doing? Dan Land Pro here. What we're doing today, we're doing something real quick. We're going to show you how to take uh, artificial intelligence and take any photo that you have and transfer it into a oil painting. Uh, it's a very simple process, but if you miss one click, you'll miss the whole thing. Hey, let's get started. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop. We're gonna go up to new, and we're gonna get our normal web large. You can pick up here. I'm just gonna use my recent, but you can pick up here. We're using web, so let's just use web so you can see, and then I'm gonna pick on web large, and then I'm gonna go look at my parameters. I wanna make sure it's in landscape, pixels, 1920 by 1080, web resolution, which is 72, RGB, and then we're going to click on create. But instead of me doing that, I could do an easy way if you already had a photo that you want to turn into an oil painting. So to have to go to that process and import it, you could just hit open. And then I'm going to find in here the picture I want, which is oil painting. So we're going to look for our oil painting picture, which is pretty easy. I know it's right here. There it is. Okay. I'm going to open oil painting. Okay, so what I want to do is select my whole image. And here's what happened if I just type oil painting in here thinking AI is going to turn this into an oil painting. And we're going to get this right out the way. So, as you see, it just gave us an oil painting. That's what we instructed to do. So it's a process, and here's the trick. So what we want to do... Let's just undo that. Keep our selection. The trick is to go over here and we're going to create a channel. So if you don't see your channels panel, you already see mine's right here. But if you don't see yours, let's click it off. Just go to Windows, come down to Channels, and there's your Channels panel. So now we're going to get a new channel we still got a selection. I want to go over here to the foreground. We're going to hit D to make sure we got our default black and white. I want to fill this with the foreground color first. But before we do that, we have to drop this H, S, and B, this B down to a 30 or 40. I'm going to use 35 just to be safe. We just want to get the effect. So let's hit OK. So now, what I want to do is go up here to Edit Fill, and then I'm going to choose Foreground Color, and then I'm going to hit OK. OK, so now you see we have our foreground color. Now, once we have our foreground color, just hold down on the Command key and select this, you go, this, this alpha channel. And you're going to get this warning. No pixels are more than 50% selected. But it's letting you know the selection edges will not be visible once I hit OK. But the selection is still there. So let's hit OK. You see the selection uh, key uh, is gone. The little marching ants is gone. But the selection is still there. Now click directly on the RGB in the channels. And there's our photo. And believe me, it's still a selection there. And now we're going to go back to our Layers tab. And I'm going to click on my Layers tab. So now I'm going to use the, uh, the text prompt in Generative Field, which is going to tell AI to turn this into an oil painting. So let's just type oil painting. And then I'm going to click Generate. So now you see our picture is being turned into an oil painting. So I got that choice, this choice, or this choice. And if I'm not satisfied with these three choices, I can select generate and pick three more choices. And there you have it. They gave me three more choices 
So I'm gonna pick the one that I like. So I pretty much like that one, which is cool. Now, here's another trick that I can show you. And we're gonna see, I can pick watercolor and it should still do the same thing. So anything that you can think of that you wanna try, once you take this process, you can do it as far as watercolor, pixelate, or some of the other commands that you can give artificial intelligence in generative field. If you don't follow the channels process we just showed you, then we already showed you what happened. So now you see it gave me watercolor. So I can pick watercolor, whichever one I like, and just like the other one, if I don't like it, I just hit generate. And I like this watercolor here. It's cool and smooth. Got a little detail, a little more detail in it. And you can play around with these and, uh, and make them however you want. So what I could do in this case is I could do other looks. I could change this around. Now here's something I want to try just to see. So I'm going to go back to oil painting because some of these oil paintings, they look similar. I really kind of like this one. Got a little detail in it. Got a little flicker in it. Now, what I want to do is flatten my image. And this is just something I want to do. You don't have to do this part, but I want to see if this actually works. So now that I got my image flattened, I'm going to go up here to filters and I'm going to pick the new panoramic, panoramic filters. And I'm going to see how one of these filters might look on my particular drawing. So we could play around with it. As you see, we have a number of selections in the new panoramic filters. So this is just to show you, and that's glass fill on top of that watercolor. And this is just to show you some of the effects that this can all have on your painting or on whatever it is that you're doing. So in this case, I just wanna put a little bit of this particular filter in there. So I just want to show you some of the things that you could do with AI generative field, especially in this case, an oil painting. So that's pretty much it. As you can see, if you give G, uh, AI the wrong command or you miss a step as far as how we showed you how to use channels, then you will miss uh, how we went about making uh, or allowing AI to make a, a regular photo into an oil painting. You could also do it with any other type of uh, uh, watercolor, anything that you could think of as far as giving uh, AI that command, it will follow as long as you follow those proper steps uh, to make that happen. Hey, I'm Dan Land Pro. Till next time, don't forget to hit that subscribe and that like button. Peace.